Hey all, this is Sayer Man here with another demonstration of one of my guitars that I, uh, in this case, built myself. But this time it's going to be something a little different. It'll be uh, this. And if you're wondering what the hell is that, let me explain. I made this one when I was a teenager just um, well a year after graduating high school and when I was in college it's made from a wine crate with uh, the neck of some cheap uh, no-name uh, solid I can't even remember what kind of guitar that it was on originally and one thing I did when restoring it was leave all the marks and uh, tool things and um, cock ups and uh, that kind of thing visible. So you see there's three extra tuner holes because I was exper experiment <coughs> sorry about that. I was experimenting with a nine string setup with uh, the three thicker uh, strings uh, being uh, doubled. Um, so I could have uh, the best of both worlds uh, with uh, 12 string and 6 string formers, you know what I mean. I left, uh, I left the holes of the, of the tuner holes open and you can just see from where uh, they were screwed in. That's the original tuners on there. I left all the rust and the patina on there. I just lubricated them. Uh, very thoroughly so they work uh, perfectly only they look like shit <laughs> um, this is something new I had to uh, to put in uh, a new block in there to attach the neck to because the original block had uh, rotten clean through this guitar had been on my attic uh, I don't know for how long and I placed uh, a brand new Gibson P90 in there. Um, short scale uh, neck. Very similar to the neck on my PVT15 actually. Um, tailpiece made of, uh, of plywood. Master volume. It works as you can hear. My own design uh, sound holes. I never, uh, never uh, did them on another guitar of mine. There's a big crack here that I repaired. I mean, this thing was toast when I found it again. I thought, oh my god, I have to restore this one. Anyway, as for how this uh, workmanship of mine from when I was a teenager sounds, well, like this. solos on that thing because uh, it's impossible to intonate. Uh, I could put, a, put another bridge on there but nah. <laughs> anyway if I put on distortion on that it's going to howl like a motherfucker.
I said I wouldn't solo on it, but uh, I guess I just did. Anyway, it's called the Boulder Dash. Uh, yes, I was an avid, avid gamer in those days, so um, <laughs> uh, guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, well, that concludes it. Hope you guys like this uh, strange thing with uh, the offset P90 in there. See you guys later.